In this video, I'm going to answer the question, should I use personalization in my email messages? Now, personalization, which means you put in hi and then first name, or first and last name, is really something you could test, but in most cases, it's not necessary. If you look at the messages sent to you by your friends, you'll see that most of them don't address you by your first name. They just start writing. And Frank Kern makes more money from email marketing than most people, and he never uses a first name anywhere. As I've said in other videos in the series, if you write messages that look like a friend sent them and you write to people as though you're talking to them over coffee, you're going to get a lot higher response than if you worry about things like personalizing the message because most people these days know that email message personalization is automated anyway. So it's basically pointless. And the other important thing to know is if you ask for name and email in some markets, it can dramatically cut down the number of people who join your list. So just by asking for email address only and not name and email, you can increase the opt-in rate. And because you don't need to put in dear first name in most of your messages anyway, because it's not important, you'll get more people on your list with less friction getting them on your list, which means you'll make more money because you'll be talking to more people. And when you combine all of these things together, the message like it's come from a friend, talking in everyday language, not worrying about personalization, sending plain text looking messages, hyperlinking words that have a call to action. Things like that are much more important than worrying about personalization because as I said, most people know it's automated anyway. So the bottom line is, don't worry about including a name field, only ask for email address in most markets and write the way we've talked about in these other videos and you'll do really well.